When we feel like we have the least control in our lives, it's the perfect time to remind ourselves of all of the things that we do control. The students and staff at the Birchwood Blue Hills Charter School present our stories to inspire you to not play the blame game or make excuses, but to instead take responsibility for and feel good about what you can control. What's your attitude? How do you view your life? Does your view need broadening? Or do you need to narrow it down? That's your responsibility. I'm responsible for my outlook. I like to lose myself within my mind. Thinking is a pastime for me. They could be about places I've been, friends I'm thankful for, or a story I've written within my head. It brings me a sense of bliss and calm. Something within my mind I can keep and never lose unless it was unimportant to me. I can control that. I like to call myself a storyteller, and I need my ideas to keep a story going. And to do that, I need my mind. I need to have my ideas, or things in life would simply be too plain. I have to preserve them. They are my opinions, my beliefs, my mindset, my views, and my feelings. I am responsible for my... Thoughts. The year 2017, I had a hard time dribbling a basketball, and my dad told me that my abilities are in my control. I took some time to practice at home in every basketball practice. My dribbling got better and better. Frustration still occurred, but I had control of my progress. Right now I am in 8th grade, but when I grow up, I want to go to college. I will become an artist, psychologist, or a person who cleans up crime scenes. In order to get into a college, I'll need to work hard in school and do projects that get in depth into science. I'll also work on my money ma management skills, goal setting, and overall happiness. I control my future. In life, we have many opportunities to do amazing things. And it's a matter of accepting the inevitable risk that comes with every great reward. For example, I built a computer not too long ago and had three sources of funding. The total cost was around $3,000 and there was a big risk and I could mess up when building it and have wasted all that money. I am the one responsible for my accomplishments. Get up and work for the vehicle you want in life. Make good choices and work for your vehicle and don't expect handouts in life. For example, I got a job and I worked to buy the truck I wanted. I control my decisions. What I say is important. I want to build confidence, be kind, and supportive. When coaching students on the projects that they've created, I try to encourage them to seek deeper knowledge with questions that start with what, how, and why. In all that we do, the phrase embrace mistakes sets a tone for daring to fail because that's when you learn the most. And there's one short but mighty thing I like to say often because it leads to a growth mindset, which is believing you can get better at whatever you put your mind to. Maybe you just can't do it. I know that I'm responsible for my words.